Today, we answer the age-old question, do bay leaves make a difference? Chefs tend to claim that yes, they do, whilst normal home cooks tend to say there's no difference. I'm a floater. Whoa! <laughs> That's why we put you in the middle. That's why we put you in the middle. I, I don't think they work, but I'm open-minded to be convinced otherwise. I've got a long journey to go on here. <laughs> Whoa! They're good in sweet, they're good in savoury, they're ornamental, the living love. Oh, ornamental! Yeah, a, a bay tree! Exactly! A bay exactly. tree! You Which... may as well buy a plastic bay leaf tree and have it in the They no. smell good. Every they time smell you good. brush past them, you get a little waft of bay. You've been feeding me these for years now. I, I don't know what it tastes like. Here's how it's going to work. We've asked our head of food, Kush, to cook up two versions of the same dish. One has bay leaves added into it, the other has no bay leaves added into it. <laughs> The boys just have to decide which dish is which. And it's normals against Ebers. Normals versus Chef Ebers. To bay or not to bay, there is no question. You're a bay lever, we are non-bay leavers. <laughs> boys, lift the cloche on dish one. So in front of you, you have a beef cheek ragu. Have a taste of both. One of them has bay leaves in, one doesn't. What I need you to do is write down, where's the bay leaf? Okay, I'm gonna start with A. This smells incredible. It's got that wonderful tomato richness with a real sweetness of... Wow. Veg, Very so like beautiful. carrot and onion that's cooked into it. You could suck that beef. It'd disappear. Yeah. When first coming to this test, I thought, this is gonna be a stupid test because you're not going to tell the difference. The whole our thing about bay leaves, they taste of nothing. So these two should taste the same. So from our research, we know that bay leaves have a certain tasting profile. They're earthy, herbal, aromatic, bitter, but it's all very subtle, right. supposedly. Right, 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 so right, I've looked right. at my answer long ago, the <laughs> so moment right, I tasted so. it, but now these two are worried <laughs> because they're on team Bay leaves don't make a difference. That there is a huge difference. My, my, my concern is I can taste the difference. Yeah, same. <laughs> <laughs> now, what I'm also concerned about is the fact that I think that Kush might be a part of the Illuminati as well. So he might, <laughs> he might have reduced that one slightly further. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. Are you We're saying fighting. Kush is overbaid? I think. He, no, I think. I think he may have added some sugar or some other thing that definitely has flavour into it. I just loved having a bay tree outside my back door because it meant that whenever I was cooking anything, I just had to open the door, grab, pluck, one, two, three, didn't matter, fresh off the tree, scrumple it in your hand. Bay. I don't know now. I'm really confused. Let's but... confer behind the board. <laughs> Boys, there's a lot of conferring going on over there. I am going to need an answer. Which dish has the bay? OK, right. OK, that makes sense. Their board is I still, still blank. I still prefer <laughs> that one. On the count of three, tell me, where's the bay? One, two, three. In the bee. In the bee. Bay in the bee. I can confirm that the bay is in the bee. And I'd also like to point out, it's the one that's had most eaten because it's also the preferred and when you cook but with bay, it's better. <laughs> Barry prefers A. I think B tastes more balanced. I think A tasted more... Tangy. Um, tangy. Yeah. yeah. I, I like... More tomato, more yeah. sweet, which was the first comment when I tasted. That tastes like savoury, umami, delicious. Oh, he's going overboard. It doesn't taste that much different. So one of the things, Ben, you always say about bay is, oh, I can't tell you really what it adds. It's just, you know when it's not there, not that it adds something specific. Again, I don't know if I've ever sat side by side with two dishes and made this comparison. But you can always tell when the dish isn't there. It, ha it just, it needs that roundness. When you're cooking by recipe, and you buy the ingredients, it says add one bay leaf, but you have to buy either a a whole bag, or in some cases a whole flipping tree, it's we'll not worth the, the cost for that Ooh. much difference so far. Is the difference worth an entire packet of bay leaves no. to purchase? Possibly not. However, buy a packet of bay leaves and put them in the freezer so they remain frozen, fresh green. Even if it's been frozen, then you can always have them in the hand. Or, if you have got a tree or access to a tree, then it, it's free bay. It's, mate, it, this is getting tense in round one. Yeah. Well, you both found the bay in that dish. Shall we move on to round number two? The most important thing here is we got a point. <laughs> okay. Is it? Is it? Is that what? <laughs> yeah. Right then, boys. Lift the cloche on dish number two. This is poached salmon with citrus. One of them has bay 
cooked into it. The How? other does not. Where? Where? Where is the bay used? In a court bouillon, I presume. You can bury them as well. <laughs> the intense bay should be running throughout the fish. So there's lots of different uses. Uh, Roma, so are commonly used in soups and stews and sauces to infuse them with a mild herbal aroma and a savoury undertone. It can be a flavour enhancer, um, providing a background note of complexity to dishes without overpowering other ingredients. You'll, you'll see these are kind of slightly wishy-washy descriptions because, again, nobody really knows what it does. <laughs> <laughs> with this one, I'm going to be, be honest, they're both delicious. Yeah, they are. And I don't think it's as obvious okay. in this form, but I have locked in an answer. I have a gut. Okay. Do you have any gut at all? Write down your gut and I'll see if it matches. Yeah, go it's, on then. It's what I was kind of thinking. Compared to the beef, I think it's a more marginal difference, but it's still there. <laughs> well then, boys, let's find out. <laughs> you little. <laughs> you little. <laughs> right then, boys, let's find out. Did you find the bay? We either did or we hey. didn't. We both said B. I can reveal that the bay is in A. Yes! I mean, no, but he lost. Yes! yes. <laughs> yes. So that one was far more subtle. The bay will provide the aromat to liquids, which is was in the stew. Here, the liquid was just occasionally touching the fish. Even though we're both wrong, we do have come to a conclusion for poaching. The answer is not to bay. I would say there's not a huge difference unless, unless you're using that stock. So if you're going on to use the stock that you just poached in to make a velouté, then it's hugely important because I think the flavour is in the stock, not necessarily transferring to the fish. I do have it on good authority that Kush used six bay leaves. Six bay leaves. Food waste. Within that court bouillon. <laughs> food to what, a litre? He said it was in a very small frying pan. <laughs> oh, game on! Game on! That was a silly but wonderful game. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on to round three. If you're enjoying this, there are some small things you can do that make a big difference to us. Like the video, subscribe if you aren't, click the notification bell and select all. Thanks. Right then boys, we're halfway through. It's one all, and it's also one all in terms of bay leavers and non-bay leavers. I'm a bit worried because I get a monthly dividend from the Big Bay Society <laughs> to <laughs> keep this conspiracy up. <laughs> We might be undoing it. <laughs> Won't be able to afford that nice new flat that much longer. Right. <laughs> Dish number three. Boys, lift the cloches. Oh. Oh. Hello. Yes, in front of you, you have a classic mac and cheese. Or mac and cheese. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. I love, you know what? I, I love mac and cheese, but I've never had a Kush mac and cheese. So the bay's gone into the roux. The bay's gone into the roux and therefore into the bechamel and therefore has made up the sauce for the You're giving it its best chance. Holy oh. moly, that is stunning. Seems like the chefs have been onto something because bay leaves have been part of culinary traditions for millennia. Their historical presence in Greek and Roman cuisine, as well as their symbolism and medicinal applications. Boys, how often do you think about the Roman Empire? Just out of interest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be honest, I'm now really, really worried because I've burnt my tongue on the first one and now can't taste anything. <laughs> is there a big difference? There is a difference, yes. It'd be interesting what Ebba says. What, what are you laughing at? <laughs> Nothing. Barry just wrote me a message on the whiteboard. <laughs> it's really funny. I am going to have to ask you to stop eating the mac and cheese so no! we can reveal whether I, you found the bay. I think there is a difference in this one and I yeah. think it's quite substantial. I agree. And I have never really thought about bay this hard, but I'm now hard thinking about bay. <laughs> <laughs> Turn your boards around in three, two, one. Where's the bay? The bay's in B. The bay's in B. The bay's in B. The bay is in B. I'm beginning to wonder, not something I thought about before, I wonder if the aromats that make bay so delicious and savoury and warm and, and herbal and botanical are fat soluble. I thought A tasted more cheesy. Yeah. Mostly cheese and suddenly well, in there, That was, was like... one dimensional and that was delicious mm. because it had more. Mm. Barry, do you want to tell everyone how we worked out that um, the bay was in B? I saw some bay in B. <laughs> <laughs> what? That was a, Did you pick yeah, it out? Okay. As I put it in my mouth first time around, it was too hot. It fell out of my mouth. I just saw a bay leaf. Do that. I was like, oh, there you go. 
But okay, so so you actually cheated, which means we can your point is null and void. No, However, no, we we <laughs> still goes to correct. Taste. Yeah, that's so yeah. it made us it made a substantial difference. I agree. Slightly more cheesy. Hmm. I'm not sure it tastes like licking the earth as you're describing, no. but it's I'm in the middle. Right then, well we've got one more round for you, and it's time for some dessert. Oh, woo! Brilliant. So whilst the chefs and normals are even on score, the bay leavers are two one up. Lift the cloche on the final round. Three, two, one. Ooh, a bay leaf panna cotta. Oh, Kush, you've, oh. you've outdone yourself. Excellent wobble, look at that. Ebers, you could do your jiggle jiggle rap that you made so famous on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've eaten anything as smooth as that. It's the last time I show for you. <laughs> what did you say? Nothing. I didn't hear what you said. <laughs> Repeat it. Yeah, that's all you need. Half a teaspoon decision made. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely incredible. Sorry. It's massive. Puddings is massive. <laughs> In the world of uh, ancient Greek and Roman mythology, bay leaves were closely linked to Apollo, representing victory and honour through laurel wreaths crafted from these leaves. They're also associated a lot with death and taking bay leaves to the grave with you. Even though I think I can taste the difference, I, could, I wouldn't be comfortable calling one of them a bay leaf one because I still don't know what bay tastes like. Agreed. A little something. I know, it is, I know. It is, is a warming, <laughs> botanical, savoury... I would describe it as a rounding. It's like a big blanket around you. I have to kind of agree that it's just a something that brings everything together. Mm. On this one, it's pulled back the sweetness as well a little bit. And if you're a sweet person, it's just ruined the dessert, if you ask me. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like you both know where this is going, but turn round your boards in three, two, one. Bay in the A. You both found the bay. And it is such a um, is elegant flavour. I can imagine, actually, when you do something like a bay leaf panna cotta or a bay leaf ice cream, mm -hmm. it just adds an elegance and a sophistication to a dish, both as you read it and then as you eat it. At home, the chances of me getting to a dish that tastes that good pre-bay is a challenge. But what but if as a normal home cook, there's no skill to throwing in two bay leaves. I know, we've, that's we've, my We've problem. proven that it's just made it better on three out of four occasions. Baz, I think that's the thing. What if bay can make it better without any more skill? Well, we've done the test, and in terms of finding the bay, the scores are completely even. You found the bay three out of four times. However, three out of four times, you all agreed that the bay did make a difference. Baz, Mike, are we now calling you bay leavers? I'm gonna have to say yes for me. I don't know if I can say it. I feel I disgusting. <laughs> I feel like a dirty little rascal. <laughs> the good thing is, the older we get and the more sort of open-eyed and eared we become in this wider world, we're allowed to change our views when we realise we had it wrong Ebers, before. Ebers, shut up. <laughs> Ebers, Ebers, I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but don't stop bay leafing. Can we add some caveats though? Because I feel like wherever I've used bay leaves before at home, they've been dried and I can't tell any difference. Yeah, in those little there. plastic cylinders. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. But if we're getting fresh bay leaves or freezing fresh bay leaves, that feels like where the biggest difference can be made. And I would say in things that you have fat involved. That's it, we've turned two normal home cooks into bay leavers. But comment down below, let us know, are you a bay leafer as well? And if you like this video, make sure you give it a like. And if you work for the bay leaf, society or whatever it's called, then we'll send Spread you- Spread the love, no! Send you the address spread the to send the check. <laughs>